All right, we're going to try a Galactic Challenge. You got three, four scenarios here. You got to get attack out of turn 20 times. I suggest Gas. He will do that one and complete the battle. The Thermal Detonators. I got a special team for you. My buddy Ed just used it, and it worked for him beautifully. Uh, Wolf and Ram pointed out one dumb, dumb thing I did in there, which helped get through it quicker. It was the same result, but 10 minutes faster. And then uh, complete a full team of droid units. To me, on my account, this was the hardest one to do. Good night, Cobb. All right, so I'm using C-3PO. Uh, the only relics I've got from a droid standpoint for the survivability was uh, IG. He didn't work out well. Magna Guard through the turn meter, all in the favor of First Order. I hated it, so I'm using C-3PO. He's thick. I got him modded for health and defense and protection and speed, so he stands up pretty well. Main goal is I always target B-1 with C-3PO. That way, if anybody gets triggered, it's going to be him for them to go after him. Because Fox can one-shot anybody in this scenario. There goes my Droidica. The minute he went, I'm pretty much done. Try it again. This this event is RNG hell, 100%. Come on, game. All right. Again, targeting C-3PO's uh, secondary on B1. That way nobody's making a turn because of the death mark. You want death mark hopefully on their side of the field. And if you're really lucky, it goes on Phasma or Fox. Foo is not the uh, the greatest scenario. I'm going to heal at B2. Hopefully he can survive. If he doesn't, GG will go into AOE mode. And I lost Droidic again. This is going wonderfully so far. This is why I hate recording galactic challenges that are RNG based because we can do this over and over. The first time I tried something different, I nailed it. Now it's not going to show it while I'm recording it. Hooray. All right, again, over to B1. Got the stun. That's actually a good scenario. Ox going after him. Ultimately, I'd like to have B1 get the mark, but uh, apparently he's not fast enough. All right, there's a mark on Fox right now. An AOE there. We got to target down. I want to keep Droidica alive. He's going to be a big part of this. All right, targets over here. Hopefully we can get him on an assist. Got him. All right, now Hux is exposed. I've got 11 stacks. He needs to go away. Goodbye, Hux. All right, now if we can see if we can keep everybody alive. The key to this is get rid of Hux. The healing, the turn meter. They stop the turn meter. On GG, the target locks give you speed. But under Hux, you cannot move the turn meter. All right, uh, Droidica is marked right now, which is a problem. I'm going to heal him up and hope that he we can save him, but I also need to uh, I need to get rid of food because he can heal as well. So I use only basic and the middle ability on for GG because the third ability is doing next to nothing. I haven't figured out why. I'm going to bubble up here with Droidica, keep him alive, especially because he's got the death mark. Couldn't ask for a better scenario. Heal him up in case he gets exposed. Only thing can expose him right now is the stun from crew. So I need to get rid of the surrounding cast. There we go. Get rid of Phasma because he's going to AOE. Let's heal up B2. Still good. Only thing we got available is basic. He's taunting now. We need to strip that off. Uh, let's see. Let's heal up B2 still. All right. We're going to use the basic here for healing immunity on crew. I'm going to use the second from C-3PO again, pass it to B1. Strip the taunt with B2. Move over to Phasma. Uh, let's heal up GG this time because death mark's over there. I'm going to basic on Phasma. Got the assist from Droidica. I'm going to save Droidica's big hit for crew here in a second, so I'm just going to basic. Hopefully he stacks up a few. Heal who we can. Healing immunity with basic. And there we go. And basic again, and he is done. So there is that one. <clears throat> Going over to the thermal detonators. I actually had to reshoot this video. It was 18 minutes for the last one until Wolf corrected me. All right. Uh, going for the thermal detonators, you need to attempt. This was the key. I didn't read the word attempt. I actually made sure that I laid 40 bombs. It's only attempt. So for this squad... This one is unique. We're going to use Zam lead. There is no GLs. That's the basic of this video. Let's go find our bounty hunter. She's only gear eight. 
Then we're going to go to armor again, only gear eight. Where's my armor? Then we're going to go to Watt. Everybody should have some, some sizable Watt. Doesn't have to be seven star, I don't think. But the one guy that is important is Mr. Malik. He is Relic Six. And then I've already forgotten my other guy. Let's see. All right, I had to pause it for a second. A little brain fart. So you can either go with Thrawn for the Fracture or you can go with Treya uh, for the Isolate. But I like Thrawn on my squad because he's bigger than Treya and he can pass. And that's key in this one. Here we go. <clears throat> Phasma will wreck your day with Gear 8s because she's going to AoE. So I like to get rid of her. It makes it a little bit longer that way. But here's the key. The Mark. The Mark is always going to be the one that takes the first attack from either side. So I'm going to tank tech over to Malik. All right, there's a rare uh, KRU actually came at me. So he's got the mark now. He's also got fear. But what I'm going to do is I've never actually had this scenario. Let's go fracture to keep him settled. And we're basically going to try to spread bombs. Okay, we lost Zam. That's what I was worried about. The, the premier scenario is if and usually he does is Kylo will stun first. So I'm kind of glad that happened because the majority of the scenarios is done this way. You lose Zam, just back out. All right. So again, tank tech over to Malik. Eventually you get to the point where nobody can touch him. Uh, we If we take Fracture now or attack, we're going to get the mark on Thrawn. We don't want that. So we're going to use his pass ability. Pass it over to Armorer. And then Armorer is going to take her middle ability and pass that to Malik to make him thicker. All right, and then we can go ahead and shock and remove the taunt from Kylo. Now we're going to pass the weapon tech over to Zam. That will give her turn meter throughout the battle. And then we are going to fracture uh, Kylo. Now that Malak has the mark, we have no worries. Now I want to get rid of Phasma because if she AoEs, I lose armor and Zam and the fight's over. All right, now, Zam, her middle ability will attempt to drop five bombs on everyone. So there's five out of the 40. And then I'm going to put healing over on armor. And then this is uh, armor shred. I like to drop that uh, normally on Kylo, but for first, I'm going to put it on Phasma to try to get rid of her as fast as I can. Although in that scenario, I could have left her alone because she had fear, <clears throat> which I should have done, but that's all right. All right, this second ability tries to put more bombs on according to who all has a bomb. So four of these guys have bombs. She will stack on top of that. So we're only going to get four here, which is going to total nine. We're going to keep targeting her. Now, anybody with a bomb, Zam's basic hits way harder. So she's got four bombs. There goes Phasma. Okay, so we're at nine. At this point, I probably could put it on auto. But I like to keep healing. Uh, the manual part of this because I want to use Watts basic throughout the fight. And then you got to keep uh, Malik alive too. So if you're going to suck on anybody, try not to kill him. All right, we're just going to keep, keep hitting on Kylo. We want to get back around to Zam. She's got one more turn to start stacking some more bombs. Pass back over to Zam. More bombs up. So there's four more. There's 13. Throw the heal over to Malik. Shock. Put more stacks. Uh, we can't put any on. <clears throat> excuse me, Malik right now. So I'll put him on Zam. She's the key to this fight. If you don't have a GL, this is the way, in my opinion, to do it. The Jawas did not work for me. Uh, this event, unless you have a GL. All right, where was that? 13. So we got two more up there. So we're going to add two more with that ability. That's 15. More armor shred. I'll just keep hitting Kylo until I got to heal Malak. You guys get the scenario. I'll be quiet so you can speed it up from here. And then once we get near the end, I'll explain the rest. Just keep Malak alive and do not kill anybody else. Because the more people out there, the more bombs. Here we go.
All right, I feel like one more rotation will have at least 40 attempts. I've already done this, so it's not going to count it for me, but you get the point. Moral of the story is keep trying to attempt to drop bombs. Her middle will drop five on the initial one. Once you lose Phasma, it's only going to be four per. And then the third, third ability. Oh, it's a good time because my game just froze. Thank you, CG. Fix your shit. We're out of here, guys. Enjoy the red box. One battalion strong. Unbelievable.